most devastating series of tornadoes in many decades rips through six Midwestern states. In the wake of the twisters, there are nearly 250 people dead, with damages mounting to the hundreds of millions of dollars. Iowa, Wisconsin, Arkansas, Indiana, Illinois, and Michigan were all hard hit by the deadly tornadoes as they slashed across the heart of the Midwest. The town of Crystal Lake, northwest of Chicago, was badly damaged within the space of a few seconds. Here, among a population of 8,000, six people died, 50 were badly injured, and authorities estimate the damage at more than $10 million. Many such towns were caught unaware, as one tornado would bypass the populated areas, only to have another hit from a different direction. In Marion, Indiana, the storm there struck four widely separated areas. One block would be untouched, the next block leveled. There is a mammoth cleanup job ahead for the residents of the six states. For the West, there was more tragedy as a swollen Mississippi River, fed by overflowing tributaries, rose a foot every four hours. At sections along its banks, the usually placid father of waters was more than 27 feet at crest, 13 feet over flood stage. 39 counties in Minnesota were declared disaster areas by President Johnson, making them eligible for federal emergency aid. Early estimates put the homeless at more than 20,000 people. The Weather Bureau says the flooding is the worst since they began keeping records here in 1890. The largest city in the flood's path is St. Paul. For the first time since it was built 67 years ago, the Union Railroad Depot was closed. Experts say the flooding came when a heavy ice cover melted quickly under April rains. The danger of floods is not expected to end for more than a month. <laughs> 